And last night, I wrote a note to my sons in my Bible. I was reading John chapter 8 when this verse jumped off the page to me. Jesus was talking to the Jews who witnessed Jesus spitting that fire and that truth at the Pharisees. And those Jews started to believe in him and put their faith in him. Praise God, right? Well, Jesus then told them what many people need to hear in verse 31. If you continue in my word, you really are my disciples. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. If you continue in my word, notice that you can believe in Jesus, but not continue in his word and thus not function as a true disciple. This is what my friend Chase Harmon calls culturally Christian people that say they are Christian, but they haven't picked up the word of God and are letting the culture influence them more than Christ. The word of God is so important to digest on a daily basis. It's daily bread. The bread of life is Jesus. I wrote to my sons at the top of the page to continue in the word, and I signed it, Dad. Both Jesus and their father are telling them this on the day that they decide to open my Bible and read that page. Now, the God mind is so important. We're living in a time where we are so influenced by what we see and what we consume. Let me give you an example. My son Malachi is five years old and he watched this show on YouTube where a dad and a son were playing with Legos and then hiding their creations from one another. I get home from work and guess what game Malachi wants me to play with him over the last two days. He saw something on the television that inspired him to whip out the Legos, build a house, airplane looking thing, and then hide it from me. And not only that, he drew up a little map to go, for me to go discover where it was. It was a super cute game that was influenced by what he consumed. And I'll give you a personal example. When I was a teen, I watched Scarface for the first time with Al Pacino. I swear on everything, as soon as the movie ended, I was plotting on ways I could move back to Miami and do other things that aren't very Christian. Fly Pelican. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a bird reference in Scarface reference. Uh, back when I was in my early 20s, another example, I saw a movie about blackjack called 21. Next thing you know, I'm buying a blackjack strategy book and I'm learning how to count cards and I'm showing up to the Hard Rock Casino in Tampa, Florida three times a week with my buddy Wes. When we consume, what we consume influences us. It's, it's, it's clear, which is why uh, coming to Christ every year, since coming to Christ every year, I've immersed myself into more and more Christian content, more Christian books, more Christian media and TV shows like The Chosen. And I do my best to intake as many Christian-based teachings, conversations, and podcasts as possible. So shout out to The Pulse 24 with Pastor Troy. Great episodes this week with Alan DiDio and Joseph Z. And uh, that's what I've just really been really soaking in as of late, and it's been amazing. So not only that, I surround myself with Christian brothers and sisters because your friends have the power to influence you as well. I'm a leader who is also impressionable. I'm a strong leader, but I also know my weaknesses. If I'm not able to get in the word and spend time with the Lord as much as I like, best believe that I need to be soaking in the worship. I need to be writing about his goodness and I need to be consuming media that is Christian based. And this is one of the big reasons I'm so passionate about this podcast, because I understand the positive effect it can have on my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. I care about you and having God, a God mind is only possible if you continue in his word like Jesus tells us. Thank you so much for supporting our YouTube channel. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. If you would like to see another short clip from this episode, you can do so here. Or if you want to see the full conversation, you can do so here. And make sure you subscribe on Patreon if you'd like to partner with us. You can do that at the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.